So now in part D, they say, okay, let's verify one of these solutions. We just gave you four different solutions, but let's verify the one y of t equals 4 plus 2e to the negative 1 half t. And this is going to be the particular solution for when y of 0 equals 6. So that was the very last graph that we drew there. Okay, so we have to verify. We, we knew from the graph that it's a solution, but now we're going to verify that it's a solution. So remember to verify that something is a solution, we look at the original dy dt equation, which in this case was negative 1 half times y minus 4, and we substitute y into the left side. So I'm going to put ls for left side, and I'm going to say dy dt is equal to, <clears throat> and I'm just going to replace the y with the actual function, 4 plus 2e to the negative 1 half t, which means I'm taking the derivative of this. Well, using the chain rule, the derivative is going to be negative 1 half times 2e to the negative 1 half t, and I'm going to simplify that, and that's just going to give me negative e to the negative 1 half t. That's my left side. Let's look at the right side. Okay, so that was the left side. So the right side is negative 1 half times y minus 4. Well, I'm going to replace y with the equation that they gave me. So that's going to be negative 1 half times 4 plus 2e to the negative 1 half t. But then i got to put the minus 4 there. And then I simplify this. So 4 minus 4 is just 0, so this is going to be negative 1 half times 2e to the negative 1 half t. And that gives me negative e to the negative 1 half t. And I've done it. I've verified that the left side, which simplifies to this, is equal to the right side, which simplifies to that. So I can say, in conclusion, we see that y of t, which is equal to 4 plus 2e to the negative 1 half t, is a solution to dy dt, which is equal to negative 1 half y minus 4. We actually have infinitely many solutions, but this was just one of them specifically when y of 0 were equal to 6. And if, if we wanted to verify that y of 0 is equal to 6, I, I could take that y of t, which is equal to 4, the y of t that they gave me, 4 plus 2e to the negative 1 half t, and I can just substitute 0 in there, right? I can say y of 0 is going to be 4 plus 2e to the 0 power. Well, e to the 0 power is just 1, so this is 4 plus 2 times 1, which is in fact equal to 6.